I don't Karen, know what happened. Karen, just can you speaker just isn't your working phone on it isn't. because we can hear Jean okay. when she's talking to I, you. I, on I can't phone. get to my mute because I've got the anyway. We can't hear them. Yes, I, I know. I, 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 I would just as I see if the. Uh, oh, can you? Wow. Oh, because they. Oh, whoops. It's all gone now. Karana's. Oh shit. Oh, I guess you heard that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. But it just George, you're recording this, right? George, you better mute them, please. I'm recording. Yeah, I'm gonna mute them. And no, I said, oh good heavens. <laughs> this is better than reality TV. Exactly. You can hear us. Yeah. But we can't hear you. Oh. Okay. Oh, That's fine. Bye bye. They can hear us, yeah. <laughs> so I better watch my language. Um, <laughs> your speaker, and 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 anyway. But we can't hear them. No. Oh, that's a pain for us. So <laughs> can't talk sign language. Jean and mm -hmm. Hal, take a look at your chat line. I'm going to say something to you. First, I got to find you. Pain. Yeah. The recording. It sounds, Doug, like they can't hear us, but we can hear them. Information. No, they can hear us. Right. No, we can hear <clears throat> them. They can't hear us. This <laughs> is not working. Use a different speaker. Like, yeah, okay. If I knew what, how to use mm -hmm. one, I would. Good to see you, Angela. Hi, Carolyn. Long time no see. I know. Congratulations on that award you got. Oh, thank you. That was another yeah. group. No, I know, I know. Yeah, it was nice. It was it a, a, a big, big surprise. That's yeah. yeah. I love non-objective art. Thank you. I don't think Joel did. I put it in and didn't get in. <laughs> So, DWS. So, oh well. Oh, no, but the other one. Yeah, I know. I know I'm talking. Uh, about and there's Bev hi, Morgan. George. Hi, hi, Bev. Hello, Angela. How are you? Your hair's different. It's a little longer than it was uh, last year. Yeah. No, it looks good. Thank you. We like it. It's <laughs> <laughs> hairy. Everybody, if you don't know Perry, Perry's on the line and she she's the one who sends all these messages out. So Perry, yeah, let's see everybody. her. Let's see her. Unmute. Hi, hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Perry. Perry. She's a lady, not a man. Some people <laughs> think she was a man. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Perry. Hello. Hi, Dor. Big communicator here. <laughs> Mary, thank you for all that you do. No yes, I, thank you for saying that, Bev, because Perry does a lot of our communication when having a clear Hi, Prissa. I want to go back to Gary. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Hello, Angela. Hey, Hi, Martin. How are you? Hello, Martin. Hello, Martin. Margaret, if you're there, I have the link, as you can see. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just sent you an email. I was looking for the link. I have two meetings tonight. How am I going to manage this? I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> You have, you have to clone yourself. Use a different computer and a different email. 
I have yeah. my uh, my iPad there. I have another one with you yeah. guys, here, guys. But it's like, oh, I miss <laughs> that. I have a question here. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, well, you know how you make hard. your hair go short and go long because it keeps going short and then long. <laughs> There's yeah. a background in there. Yeah, it's it's the background, the, yeah. I know. I don't know how to change it. There, sometimes. Uh, I don't know the 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 top. Oh no, with Zoom, it's all always the same. Is it from the Zoom little thing? No. No. It's from you have a background on there. It's the from the bus, I guess. Oh oh oh. Hi hi, Sook. How are you doing? I see you in there. Unmute yourself. Un oh. unmute, unmute yourself. She doesn't know probably how to do it. Oh, I need this. There she is. No, she's there, but she's still muted. No, I could hear her. She's speaking now. Who? Oh, Jean? No, hi, Sook. Oh, hi, Sook. Hi, hi, Sook. Hi, hi Caroline. How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Good to see you, everybody. Yes, I can recognize everybody. Nice. Hi, 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 Bob. Hi, I guess we're not getting wine and cheese. Barbara, eh? good to see you. <laughs> yes. If you go up to the kitchen, you might be able to get some. And Brenda. Brenda, Melinda. Oh, everybody, I miss you so and much. And it's nice to see Melinda instead of her picture up on the screen. After <laughs> <laughs> all the workshops, just the picture, no picture of her. Uh, Are you swimming again? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Because I, I can't get into aqua fit. We both used to Where, are, where are you sw swimming? The Pan Am Center. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh. You have to book a specific time, don't you? Yeah, it's pretty easy to book now, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for the lane down swim, down. anyway. The aqua fit is pretty swim. busy. Aqua, sweat, aqua fit, you can't get in. I've tried for weeks. And I can't yeah, you got to be right on the button at the time, you know, like 48 hours before to the minute, um, and you should be able to get in. Wow. Um, Look at the world clock, and when it changes to the time, then you have to be booking then. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I can hardly recognize anybody without their mask. Everybody should put the mask on. I don't know who you are. Uh, I don't know if Wendy's here, but Wendy Cooper, I, I kept talking to her, George, and I didn't know, I didn't realize it was Wendy because I remember Wendy with the dark hair, and I hadn't seen her that much you know, except in the pandemic. So I didn't know it was her. That's right, Carolyn. And you said to everybody, okay, smile, everybody. But we I, all have masks I told on. everybody to smile with a picture and they had their masks on, right? That's just what I do when I take pictures. I tell everybody to smile. So. We'll have to get some paint and paint them onto our masks. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Hello. It's nice to see you and both here today. Yeah. Oh, Pam. I like to see you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So hello. is Doug going to do the demo tonight? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't think so. Surprise. Hi, Mike. <laughs> no, Barb, you didn't get the message. You're back Hi, on. No. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> okay. Has there been traffic at the gallery? Does anyone know? Not it's open yet. Not open yet. It opens tomorrow. It opens tomorrow. I'm sitting oh, tomorrow okay. morning, so I'll let I you know. know. You're not allowed to do the the openings because you can't have refreshments. Yeah, but that's okay. But you know what's interesting is uh, they have had three or four receptions from uh, the previous earlier shows uh, on the weekends. Oh, and they've they've had oh. no problem. So it's it's just yeah, but but they had they had the receptions, but they had to take their food with them. They had to pack yeah, it so, up and they walked away with it. So you do a reception <laughs> without food. It, it was an option, but I think this will be quite effective. Yeah, this is nice, and and, and the the travel time's perfect. Yes, <laughs> seven oh four. So there we go. I thought the take in was very well organized yesterday. Well, that credits to yes. credits to uh, to uh, Nancy for sure. Nancy organized it, got the volunteers to help her. Volunteers were awesome. Yeah, so, it was so smoothly done. I, I was very impressed. Yeah. Well, thank That's you. That's very great good. to know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kishore. How are you? Hi. Kishore. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, Doug. How are you? Nice Very to see good. everyone. Yes. Andrew, nice yes. to see you've joined TWS. Yes. Andrew Welcome, and I know Andrew. each other from Scarborough. Unmute yourself, Andrew. I am delighted. It's good I to see you. It's delighted. fun to joke around when we get Very in person. Esteem, group of people and artists, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> we're people too. Andrew is a really funny guy and, and we've, uh, <laughs> we've, had some, we've had some delightful uh, Christmas dinners together with Scarborough, so I remember well. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, do you do stand up comedy? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. We're looking for something for the holiday party, man. <laughs> perfect, let's perfect. talk. I wouldn't be ready for Christmas, maybe, at, okay. maybe in the new okay. year. <laughs> okay my repertoire is in progress <laughs> now how are you on the list <laughs> <laughs> you heard it folks live from toronto andrew <laughs> joe i'm glad you joined in oh thanks I think it's important to see some people joe without our masks on right mm -hmm. <laughs> call me back to you excellent, excellent. <laughs> Well, we got 52 people so far. That's good. So, George, maybe we'll wait until 7.10 and, and we break the 60. Uh, and then we'll start. Uh oh Somebody's got a doggy. That's me. Oh, where's the dog? Hi, Gail. I mean, uh, Ed. <laughs> we can't see Gail. We only see Ed. Unmute yourself. Everybody unmute themselves. Time to talk. Yeah. And Rena, I see Rena up in the corner. Hi, Rena. No, I'll meet this. Who else is here? Oh. Martin. Um, no. Got 53 people so far. That's not bad. I think that's pretty good. And Jenny is here. And uh, who else? Let's see. Some people haven't got their pictures up. But... Yeah, they have their video off. <laughs> yeah, put your video on. Yeah, I'll not all of us wanted Don't to put our makeup on. <laughs> Stella, your hair's grown long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really good. Yeah. Like all of us until about a couple of months ago. Hello, Deborah. Hello. Uh, hi, Deborah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the invitation so quickly. No. <laughs> I've gotten two back so far. No. It's not bad. What's that? our next demo yeah, meeting? I'm on a Zoom meeting, but that's fine. Anybody know what our next, when our next, and what our next demo okay. meeting is for? Second Wednesday of the month. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Second Wednesday, so not this yeah. Wednesday. Next Wednesday. I think Wednesday. it's the lady from Calgary. Next next week, the lady yeah, from Calgary. Think, yeah, it's it's on the website, and it was Su in your Susan, newsletter. Susan Volga. Mm -hmm. Susan Volga. Thank you. Last month, I asked about seeing the recorded um, sessions because I've missed some. And uh, I thought they were going to, Judy Marsh has them. Uh, and Wendy I Marsh. She was going to give the list to us. Can she give us the links on YouTube? I haven't received that. That would be Wendy Marsh. And we'd have to ask her if she can do that, I guess. But all the members should be getting it. I mean, my... I don't have her email. Yeah, it's on the, I'll be on the website and in your newsletter, both. Um, okay, because I haven't had a membership list for ages, so I thought I'd have to check there. The membership list, the membership list is on the website and it's in the, it's in the part at the back for members only. So it, you can see everything there, the membership list. And the password is cadmium with a one instead of an I, 21. Cadmium, 21. But instead of I, it's a one. With a no. capital C or no? 
You can go on, I'll go on your website and you can go on the website and go to members only and click into things. Yeah, is it Cadmium with us, capital C? Oof. I think no, it right. is. I think it is, Marlon, but it's not. Just, just play with it. Put it. I was told oh, wait, the uh, password it, was Gamboge. Caroline? <laughs> Different color. That was last <laughs> year, maybe. I don't know. I was told Gamboge with a zero in there. Gamboge 21. Uh -huh. But it's not Gamboge, it's cadmium. Unless they cadmium. changed it and didn't okay. tell us, and I'm a director. So I don't know. I have a great palette. Okay. <laughs> I know. I was thinking, how do you spell Gamboge? That's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> Scadnium. So you you can get all the members' phone numbers and emails and everything right on your website. But instead of publicizing it to the whole world, you, have to, you can get it on your own. Oh, there's the guy I gave the big hug to yesterday. <laughs> okay. Put your, unmute yourself. I you can see me. You, we can't hear you talking. Unmute yourself. We everybody know Steve here. Unmute yourself, Steve. George, can you unmute Stephen Wilkin? I'll give it a try. Let me see. Where is he? Steve Wilkin. Oh. It says BM positive bm positive or whatever i don't know what's on on I okay. so, so oh, there I, you are steve oh, oh there he is yeah i gave steve yesterday a big hug because he's such a huggable guy and he said that's the first hug he had in two years so i was just like touched oh my god it was yeah. so nice to give some people it's hugs yesterday one, <laughs> seen of, uh, okay for all the new people don't know, Stephen welcomes us always to the meetings. He gives out the name tags. He's on the membership desk. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't say Steve there. It says BM POS, P -O -P -S. And um, he was our volunteer of the year a couple of years ago. And I still remember everybody stood up because he, he just smiles at everybody and welcomes everybody to our real meetings in the, in the hall. He's a very special man. There he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Un un there he is. <laughs> Unmute yourself so you can talk. He doesn't know how to do that. No. Look at the bottom and, and just click on where it says mute. It's unmute. You want to unmute. It's on top. Oh, oh, no. It's on top on yours. OK. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. See? OK. Yes. Hi, Doug. Hey, how you keeping? We miss, we miss I'm seeing you. Good. I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Excellent, yeah. man. Yeah. Can you talk if anybody sees him? Give him a hug. The painting <laughs> helps. And the oh, group helps. So it's a Hi, wonderful Steven. group. Hi. Hello. Hi, Nancy. I Nancy was so funny. I I, I was talking to, on we were talking about framing, and he she says, get your dancing shoes on. <laughs> and go and get it framed. <laughs> I was dancing all the way to the frame. It was so funny. <laughs> it, it all worked out. It all worked Good. out. Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, George, we're at 58, 713. So maybe we'll start and uh, you'll just monitor. Are they automatically getting in or do you have to admit them? No, oh, they're automatically getting in, Doug. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'll, well, I'll uh, start the uh, presentation and... Um... No, I'm going to do an introduction first. Okay. So just... Hang um... on. I'll spotlight you. Do you want me to mute everybody? Sure, for this little bit. Okay, yeah. I'll mute everybody and you can unmute yourself, Doug. Oh, I have. All right, can everyone hear me? Huh, George, you're the you only can. one you can say. Okay. All right, good, e good evening, everyone. I'm glad you could make it to our online reception for the 73rd, 37th, am I dyslexic? 37th annual Aqu Aquavision Juried Fall Show. 
This is indeed a unique manner in which we announce all the winners within our show that is full of paintings that embody the high quality and standards that TWS has become known for. The range of styles is wonderful and the winners range from longtime members up to recent new members. So here are a few statistics about the show. 145 paintings were submitted and 48% of the artists submitted two paintings. 98 paintings or 67% of the paintings were accepted into the jury show. Of the 17 new members accepted in 2021, three of them won awards this time, which is really quite something. This juried show was the result of the tremendous amount of time and effort by our two show chairs, David Mandelstam and Patricia Gonzalez, and a large group of dedicated volunteer members who contributed behind the scenes. I think it is important that our members understand how special this particular show is. Our normal in-person jury shows became an online digital venue, and most of us have settled into that reality in which the submission of artwork, the jury process, and the posting of jury shows are done digitally. This fall jury show had the significant challenge of combining the online digital show with the in-gallery physical show. The submission process continued to be refined and the awards process was within a compressed tight time frame in order to be able to present the awards tonight. The drop off of paintings had to accommodate socially distant mandates, as will the visiting of the gallery show and the final pickup of paintings. The success of each of these aspects required many volunteers, with some volunteers stepping up to do multiple tasks throughout the show process. I now want to collectively thank each and every one of the volunteers, and I'm sure all of you would clap and voice your appreciation if you were personally at a live reception. So on with the reward, the awards. My special thanks to Nancy Newman for preparing the PowerPoint presentation of the awards. And with the help of our Zoom administrator, Georgiti, we will be going through the list and we'll show on screen the painting the uh, uh, the jurors' comments and the award. I'll pause and then we'll have um, George will bring up uh, a, a live view of the, uh, the particular uh, award winner. We'll also read the, uh, the juror, juror comments uh, by Joel Popadix. And for the, okay, and that's it. Sorry, I'm going to jump now. Let's go to the, um, Slideshow. Exactly. Thank you. You got it. So here we are at 2021 Fall Aquavision Awards. And the juror, as I mentioned, was Joel Popadix uh, from the US. We were very fortunate to get him, and uh, he's done a wonderful job. Next. Uh, nope. Back one. OK. So here's the juror statement. I'll read it out. Just a minute here, I have to move. There. I am honored to be the first artist from the United States to judge the Toronto Watercolor Society's annual fall exhibition. The artwork truly lived up to the show's title, Aquavision. It was a delight to see everyone's personal vision and their watercolor approach. When I judge a show, I look for pictures that have a good effect and possess a mood. My criteria also includes its merit of design, drawing and composition. Finally, on how well the artist has mastered this elusive medium. Based on the quality of work presented, my decision on which paintings to include and present an award was extremely difficult. I would have liked to have included them all. Congratulations to those selected and to all the award winners. If your work was declined or not given an award, Please do not let that discourage your endeavors. Art is a personal thing and judging a show is subjective. I know how hard it is to put yourself out there, but it's also important that we continue to do so, to see how we measure up with our peers and how we might improve our craft. My gratitude to those in the organization that made this show possible. And again, congratulations to all the award winners. Next.
George? Well, why? Sorry, Doug is taking a minute to uh, move to the next slide. I'll try again here. That's fine. Oops. It's, uh, hang on, I'll try a different way. Oh, there we are. There we are. Okay, so the first award is an honorable mention to Doreen Renner for her painting Everywhere But There. And the juror's comment for this was, there's a balance of texture and color within this picture. The design is well organized and the viewer doesn't tire moving around the composition. So we'll get to look uh, at this painting while um, George pulls up uh, Doreen on screen. Uh Doug, I, I don't think it's going to be possible because I can't see the people as well as the picture. Maybe, okay. Doreen, if you can unmute yourself and make a comment or two about, uh, about the painting. Oh, um, well, I'm thrilled and honored to get an award. Um, the, uh, the painting was just spontaneous, and uh, I, uh, I like his comments. Um, I'm, I, I, I just paint from an, uh, an intuitive kind of process. And um, I'm glad glad that uh, it was selected. Thank you. Well, congratulations, congratulations. Doreen. Congratulations. Very nice, Doreen. Beautiful. Again. Okay, next. The next honorable mention is to Barbaguchi for A Field of Snow. This transparent watercolor has mystery. The shapes and washes flow nicely into one another, bouncing back and forth between the figurative and the abstract. So Barb, if you uh, want to unmute or George unmute her. And... Oh, great. Thanks so much. That's wonderful. I love his comments as well. <laughs> and I hope the snow doesn't come too early for all of us. <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was uh, very nice. Thanks. Thanks so much for the, for the honor. I'm Congratulations. so to be part of the group. Thank you. Congrats, Barb. Beautiful. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> The next honorable mention is Kelvin Sue for Nile River. And the juror wrote, space and distance in this watercolor is deftly handled with value and a progression of color. The design in the river with its multiple thrusts and direction leads the viewer eyes around the composition. Kelvin, if you uh, want to say a few words about your painting, that'd be great. Thank you, Doug. Um, uh, thank you, whoever given me this award. And uh, uh, this was based on during my high school like uh, years, where I was with my family during the trip to uh, to the Nile River, Egypt. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it was based on the like um, that's during an area where I had where we had the like eating biscuits and stuff. So that's that's where the that's where the location is. Great. Well, congratulations, Calvin. Thanks. Lovely. So the first time entry award is to Matab Abdohali. I hope I pronounced it. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, for Poppies 3. This loose spirited watercolor has been painted with a confident hand. The artist has terrific shadow shapes throughout the flowers and vase. So Matab, if you want to provide some comments, it'd be great. <clears throat> is Matt up online? Hey, she is. I saw her. Oh. Possibly on mute, Matt. I'm mute. Yeah. I can see her there. Maybe she's unmuted. Oh. I think she's about to unmute. There we go. Great. Oh, <clears throat> but Tob, your volume may be uh, low. Well. 
<laughs> it looks like she's she's throwing her hands up, but she I, I, it. Okay. she's happy that okay. she received an award. <laughs> Maybe at the end. Oh, she congratulations, can yeah. Matab. Yep. Yeah, congratulations, that, that be for sure. Another honorable mention is to Lawrence Kavanaugh for Back of House in Coburg. The juror said, street scenes and architecture with all that detail can be easily over rendered. But in this picture, I really enjoyed the artist's loose manner in the handling of buildings. If Lawrence is uh, available. I guess yes, hi, Doug, and everyone. Hey, great. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, Thanks very much. It's always great to get an award. It's wonderful. Um, and it's nice to hear that. <laughs> as an architect, it's always, as you know, Doug, it's tough to loosen up sometimes. But uh, this 100%. was actually, this painting um, I did after, and I, you know, I feel terrible. I can't remember the name of the fellow who gave the workshop, but it was earlier this year, January, February. It's uh, Brian McPhee, I believe. Yeah, that's it. And and we did it was his style. Um, so this didn't I didn't do this in the workshop, but this came out of some uh, sketches I had rendered on a trip. And I basically he kind of inspired me to to uh, to tackle this kind of composition. So there's an example of our workshop and can flow into um, some work. So thank you. Oh, again. That's that's really nice. outcome. Yeah. Beautiful, Lawrence. Yeah, thank you, George. Congratulations, Larry. Thank you, Carol. Yeah. Another honorable mention is Celine Yuen for Flower After Rainstorm. And uh, the juror wrote, I am fond of paintings with simple statements. There's more than enough detail in this picture so the viewer isn't bored with unnecessary information. So Celine, do you have some comments you can make? Thank you so much to select my painting to receive this award. And um, I think I was inspired by the moment of the atmosphere in the garden, which was quite, quite rainy and very dark and with some kinds of um, mystery effect. But um, I kind of like it. So even though the light was pretty dark, and I try to capture the, um, the effect of the water around the flowers. So um, it was quite a fun experience for that. And um, I think, yes, every painting I try to capture the relationship of the contrast and the light and the value. Oh, excellent. Congratulations. Elaine. Congratulations. Thank you. So we now have the award of merit that goes to Adam Fonzeo for retired man as volunteer in Riverdale. The juror wrote, this watercolor has a loose quality and approach. The forms in the figure and surrounding landscapes are handled with fresh, colorful washes. So Adam, you probably got something to say. Uh, well, that's a really surprised me. I'm really be happy to hear this good news. It's really also encouraged me as a new, relatively new member in the TWS. The this gentleman is uh, the Peter. He worked in the early in the morning in the river food when I was uh, doing the the pen, um, plan air drawing there. After I taught him, I realized he's not working there. He's a retired man as a volunteer work there. I was really surprised. So I, after I taught him, got his permission, I draw this uh, picture for him. That's it. Thank you. Okay, congratulations, Adam. Thank you. The next honorable mention is to Yasir Hamid for Rodeo Beach Trail in Marin County. The juror commented, the color richness throughout and the detail in the foreground sets up a feeling of distance in space. The composition has a flowing rhythm that leads the eye around the landscape. So, yes, here, 
your comments would be great. Um, thank you, everyone, uh, and and the jurors for this award. I my thoughts on this <coughs> were I was trying to capture the textures. Uh, so this is uh, very close to the Golden Gate Bridge, which is quite famous. Um, and there are these very interesting grasses that grow along the coast uh, in California. And I was just trying to uh, try and remember uh, our time there and, and recreate that feeling of, of freedom that you get close to that coast. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad it was appreciated. Thank you. Lovely. Wonderful, congratulations, yes sir. Oh, nice. The next honorable mention goes to Nancy Newman for Little Treasures 3. The juror said, this artist has skillfully painted the washes in the bowl in cherries. The highlights make each one look shiny and appetizing. The reflective colors in the metallic bowl lends a spatial quality to the piece. So Nancy. Very well done. Thank you very much. Um, this, this picture and a couple of others that I've been doing came out of the, our time in COVID and not being able to go out. And I thought, what can I paint that will give me some enjoyment and some pleasure? And so I looked in my uh, China cupboard for things that had belonged to parents and grandparents. And this is one, the tablecloth in the background was my mom's and the little silver condiment bowl belonged to my grandparents. And then the cherries were in season. So it was just a nice little challenge to, to create those uh, things that would remind me of my family that I wasn't seeing. So I'm very happy to get the award and I appreciate being in the show. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. So the next is the award of merit that goes to Margaret Roseman for Deceptive Calm. Majura wrote, this acrylic painting has a terrific mood. I like the juxtaposition of depicting a quiet moment in nature with what appears to be frantic, urgent brushwork throughout the scene. So Margaret, what can you add? Thank you so much. I am honored to... Uh, uh, that this this painting received this award. Many of you know that I've been doing a whole series of paintings from the um, ravine that's close to our, our home. And I make it an, um, almost a, a weekly walk, not, not daily, to go and see the, the beautiful um, designs that happen in every season. And interestingly enough, uh, the title itself, Deceptive Calm, I think describes my mood uh, overall for the last uh, few months. Perhaps other people feel the same. There's this deceptive calm, but inside I'm, I'm anxious to um, get back to regular routine or, or uh, activity that we, we all long to, to do. So thank you again. Congratulations, Margaret. <clears throat> Another honorable mention goes to Stella Dye for Harbor Impression. And the juror commented, like its title implies, there is an impressionist manner in this painting. The reflections in the water includes enough detail without looking too random or busy. Stella. What thank you, you very say? much. Thank you. And also thank you for the tour. And this painting is one of Toronto Harbor series. I try to capture the luminance of harbor in order to get rid of the dog feeding during pan pandemic. Probably I stay at home too long. <laughs> um, finally, I'd like to thank everyone to make everyone's hard work to make this show Okay, thank you. Congratulations, Stella. Thanks. 
So the Dorothy Blefkin Award for Best Use of Color goes to High Suit Barker for White Rose. The juror wrote about this painting, things that are white are often very colorful. In this picture, the artist has subtle variations in both the shadow and light areas with a gentle transition of color temperature throughout. Hi, Sue. Would you like to comment? Yes. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you all the TWS executive and then volunteer make sure TWS shows goes on. Thank you very much. And about the painting, white is my favorite color. So thank you again. Thank you for everybody. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Saisu. Beautiful Thank painting. You. Okay, so now the bronze medal goes to Brenda Bornstein for oh. After the Storm. Uh, the juror wrote, I always consider the artist's use of pattern and shapes when I look at abstract work. The picture is organized in a way that intrigues and entertains. And Brenda, what, other, what else can you uh, comment about the painting? Well, um, this is an abstracted urban landscape that was painted this past year in the midst of COVID. I wanted to express and paint my emotions um, during this difficult time and to express my feelings of hope. Um, so, um, my, my, my choice of this narrow vertical format um, further, this is oh, there's an echo. Further emphasize my what's going on. Uh, it's a bit of random speech yeah. that matches your painting. <laughs> further emphasize my feeling that um, I don't. Oh no, it's all. Um, the, the narrow vertical format further emphasizes my feeling of hope and the belief in the future and growth after the pandemic or story. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very, very grateful for the honor and uh, the award. Well, congratulations, Brenda. Thank you. Let's story about that. So the silver medal goes to Hal Biltz for snow spattering. And the juror wrote, it's always a challenge to paint fresh snowfall that sticks to trees. The artist successfully rendered the snow that has piled up without making the picture look too busy or scattered. So Hal, your comments? Doug, uh, yeah. Hal had trouble earlier. I hope. No, I think we're on now. Oh, yeah. uh, great. Are we, are we there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I just want to thank everybody for this. My gosh, this is a surprise. Um, when I saw, saw, when I saw the show, when I took over my two paintings, why well, I, I thought, boy, oh boy, just to get into this show, is something else. It, it looked amazing. So well done. Oh, it is amazing. Um, as for the painting, uh, this was uh, the reference for this was uh, out in the Rouge, Rouge area where I have done a lot of my work. And uh, I kept coming across this tree and I kept taking pictures of it. I had pictures of every season practically. And I thought some, sometime or other I'm going to get at it. And finally I did about. Uh, I guess around eight or nine years ago, I painted this. And, uh, but I, the uh, photos were taken prior to that. Anyway, anyway thanks again. This, this is a perfect award. I'd like to say congratulations to everybody. I can't type fast enough to say it. Yeah, me too. Each time. But it's but a it's wonderful show. Well, congratulations, Hal. Thank you. And now the gold medal awarded to Kishore Sanawain for Farm Near Burlington. The juror had these comments. I'm very impressed with how the artist captured the feeling of sunlight in this watercolor. The picture has spirit, 
It's loosely painted and executed with a great deal of confidence. The drawing is well done with good design. So Kishore, any comments about yeah. the painting? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, and it's an honor to get an award and that to a gold medal. Uh, it's a surprise for me, big surprise. Actually, I'm very happy. And uh, yeah, about this painting, I actually commute every day to the job at Burlington. And while going, uh, there is a, there are beautiful farms and uh, uh, the barns. And I love painting the landscape of uh, farm and barns. And uh, this is the this is the place uh, uh, there, and uh, it's a white barn. And I just uh, wanted to paint the uh, white barn. Uh, I like the light and shadow on the barn. And this picture actually is having a Canadian geese also over there. So I just uh, wanted to uh, capture that, that and wanted to show that dog and the and the child the kid is very much interested to see the canadian goose uh, from very near so yeah i'm i'm very very happy thank you very much thank you so much for everyone well congratulations kishore yeah thank you so that concludes our show reception and again i really hope that all of you can I, I say something, Doug? Well, I would just, just like Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn, just wait. Yeah, I want. I just want to say if uh, you should go down and see the show in person because Carolyn, uh, that's what I'm going to say. Can you please let me say it? Yes, sir. That concludes our show reception. And again, I really hope that all of you and your friends can find the time to go visit the Paper Mill Gallery to experience the painting up close and personal, to really see the color and techniques used by each artist. That experience has been missing for so long. There is free parking and you do not have to book a time to visit. We can stay logged in for a while and chat and listen to others. Thanks very much. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, Doug, what a great show. It really is, yeah. I just want to add that it is a really, it is really different to see the show in person. And for many of the new members, they haven't been down there to see the show. And it will look, you'll see what a difference it makes. It took a lot of work from a lot of people to put that show together beyond just the show chairs. And I think they'd be honored too, because there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. And uh, the show is, the, the show, requires a lot of organization. We are lucky to have Todd Morton. Uh, we, we've got it now for our, our, our gallery shows will always be at Todd Morton because it's been arranged. Um, it's been arranged uh, and by, well, uh, for our group to have it there. And they look forward to our show every year. So I think it would be great for all of you to get your friends down there to see it in person. It looks so different when you see it on the wall when you see the frames, so. I hope everybody does make the effort to go down to see it and bring friends along. And we already sold a painting, but I'm gonna- Awesome. Thank you, Doug. I think that was really a nice presentation. It's wonderful to be able to see everything on the Zoom. It, it was a nice reception. And, and again, thanks to Nancy for uh, putting the PowerPoint presentation together. I really appreciated it. You're welcome. It was lots of fun. And thank you, George, for looking after. Uh, You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and getting dressed for the occasion. Oh, yes. okay. it's nice to yeah. see everybody yeah. dressed up. <laughs> Wonderful to see you guys with shirt and tie. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all for, for joining in. And yep. uh, let's hope for a successful show. And, and yes. let's enjoy the, the, the fact that we are able to be there in person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks Congrats again. all the great. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good work, so everyone. Much. Good night. Night. Thanks, Doc. Good night. Thank everybody. You, Good, night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. All right, Adam. See you later. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, everyone. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Good bye -bye. night. Bye, everyone.